What up, what up everybody? Welcome to a quick little second channel video. Today I want to talk about one of several ways I go about preserving my wealth by using just a little bit of strategy and creativity. But really quick, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for weekly videos. Subscribe to my main channel for daily videos. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. But now let's get into the video. I don't want to say that I stack credit cards, but most people who know me, or at least the people who tune into my live streams, know that I consider myself to be a bit of a credit nerd. I love credit cards, and I enjoy getting the maximum amount of cash back as I could possibly get. I have different credit cards for different reasons. I have this card over here that gives me a higher percent cash back on groceries. This one over here that gives me a higher percent cash back on dining. This one over here, higher percent cash back on my Amazon purchases, higher percent cash back at gas stations. Different cards for different reasons. I figured why only have one card that gives me decent cash back in one area when I can have a variety of cards and get a ton of cash back at a ton of different places while simultaneously building and bulking up my credit score, which is very important by the way. And I got a comment on my live stream the other night saying what's the point of having a high percent cash back credit card when it has a high percent interest rate? Very simple solution, don't pay interest. Interest is optional, you do not need to pay interest. If you pay off your credit card in full on time before the due date, you do not need to pay interest. If you do not carry a balance, you don't pay interest. Simple solution. You can very easily go from saying that interest is a problem to interest was a problem. I've never in my life paid interest, ever. Never paid a penny in interest. Never paid a late fee, never paid an overdraft fee. Those are optional. You don't need to pay those. You do not need to get yourself into that headache. I use them as leverage. I use them to propel me in a better direction. I use them and I rack up a ton of cash back, which I can then take my own dollars given back to me for purchases that I was going to purchase anyway and take those free dollars given back to me and convert them into actual money. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for weekly videos, subscribe to my main channel for daily videos, and once again, if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on what I shared in today's video. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you have any questions or do you have any suggestions when it comes to using some creativity and strategy for this specific method of wealth preservation? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.